Turnarounds in blues are a type of harmonic device typically used at the end of a 12 bar blues, uh, especially with seventh chords because it definitely gives a stronger expected sense of resolution back to the one chord. Now turnarounds can also be used as the intro to a blues. So today I've got seven different turnaround ideas for you to tinker with. And then I'll show you a few ways that you can tweak them and modify them and kind of get a little bit more originality out of them. So for all the turnarounds today, we're in the key of A, and at the end, which would really be kind of like the 11th and 12th measures, you'll notice an F7 sliding down to an E7. All right, here's turnaround number one. <laughs> Now that turnaround right there is by far probably one of the most iconic as well as cliche turnarounds used. With the opposing string skip on the third and the first string, hitting those sixth intervals really outlines the essence of a blues. All right, turnaround number two has more of what we call an oblique motion, meaning that one of the notes, in this case the higher melody note, is going to remain constant and static, whereas the lower note is going to be ascending, and it goes like this. Turnaround number three is pretty straightforward with this, just a basic ascending melody on the third string. Turnaround four is a really cool one and it has a descending fourth string note while the upper note on the first string stays static. Now you might hear that this one sounds very ZZ Top-esque as I play through it like this. Now ZZ Top, Billy Gibbons, LaGrange, after the solo there's that break. This is a modified version of that fourth turnaround like this. Pretty cool right there. So you could see how you could do a little tweaking on some of these and get some completely fresh new ideas out of some old, very classic turnarounds. All right, for turnaround number five, it's got a unique sixth movement uh, ascending on the fourth and the second string. Now, when you get to the second measure of this turnaround, which is really, if you're in a 12 bar blues, that would be measure 12, but on the tab on the screen, it's gonna be the second measure. You'll notice the fifth on the D string and the fifth on the B string. When you get to something like that, ideally what you wanna do is a little bit of a hybrid picking technique where your pick is gonna play the bass string and then another finger, like I use my middle finger to play the second string like, like this. And you'll see what I'm talking about as I play through this one. All right, turnaround six has got a really cool oblique pattern where the bass string, the D string in this case, is going to be descending, but the upper voice is going to be ascending like this. All right, turnaround number seven is by far the trickiest one of the group as it's gonna use the hybrid picking technique I mentioned earlier through quite a bit of it. So the pattern starts off with just a single note, but then immediately goes into little two note harmonic intervals played up the neck with a stationary pinky high A on the E string like this. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you thought about those blues turnarounds and let me know if I missed any, especially some ones that might be like really obvious that I might have overlooked or ways you've taken some of these and modified them and turned them into really cool ideas. And 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me, like and share this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later, and keep rocking on.